Hey guys, this is Peter, and if you've ever thought about what your superpower might be, if you could choose one for yourself, well, after this, it could very well be the ability to see in infrared. This is a thermal imaging camera from a company called Top Don, and Top Don makes all sorts of diagnostic equipment for automotive stuff, and a lot of great stuff that's out there for cars. You got to take a look either way. There's all sorts of battery testers, battery jump starters, high-end stuff. Uh, they also have key programming. I had no idea you could use an OBD2 sensor and program one of these uh, keys. I always thought they were expensive, but this is like the cheap way to do it. Uh, all sorts of other tools, including EV chargers. But this is their thermal imaging camera, and it fits on your phone. And I thought, all right, well, if this is a serious piece of equipment, let me put it through its paces. So they sent me one, and I put it through uh, its paces on my phone, just kind of blindly plugging it in took it down to the produce market and walked through some huge refrigerators, found all sorts of stuff. Then I walked around my house with it on, found all sorts of stuff that was consuming power, lots of power that I never thought would. Uh, this is a neat thing. And yeah, if I had a superpower, it very well may be to, uh, to see in infrared and to measure temperatures accurately, because that's what it does. Oh, and it also can log them. So I will go through and show you what it could do, what I found, and the one suggestion that I thought would make this product a little bit better. So let's go through that. All right, well, I put this on just to see what I could see. Look, this is a water heater, and I could see how hot everything is. So cool that you can see the high, the low, and uh, actually individual points you can set up. Really cool, this was just taken on my phone. And look, I found a couple products in my garage, and I'm like, hey, that was a lot hotter than I thought it should be. And this, I was wandering around the house, there's a light switch that's obviously way hotter than I thought it should be. Other products that were charging, and I was just like, hey, this is some good data. So here it is uh, from an industrial refrigerator, this you think could fit forklifts inside. And I'm just taking a look at the motor, and I thought, look at that, li that return line. So when I went inside the refrigerator, look, it takes video as well. I'm walking through the refrigerator, yeah, that return line is darn hot. This is for a refrigerator that's supposed to be cool. We may actually want to insulate that. This is some great data here. But look, I also pan around and look at some other things. Measuring, you can actually measure spots. There's a door and a forklift must have hit it. And look, there's some 60 degree air getting in there. We definitely got to take a look at that. This is really valuable data. Because look, you can see up there in the upper left hand corner, uh, you can see the image, it's overlaid. I can adjust how transparent that is. I can see things in there. And look, I can also see the return lines. They're glowing red hot. Never thought of insulating those things. And yeah, we can see that door got bumped too, 53 degrees on that edge. Yeah, we gotta get in there with some caulking or get somebody in there with some foam and seal that thing up because that's money going out the window. You can't see this with your naked eye. There, look, I'm walking through. What is that glowing box? There, right in front of me, those that pallet. And I walk over to it. It's warm. That was must be put in there most recently. Someone probably put it in there. Uh, look, you can see it's glowing warmer than the rest of it. And watch what happens when I put my hand on it. Wait, did I see that right? Look, there's my hand print left because I warmed up the box. This is pretty cool. And it's accurate and you can calibrate it and it has a full manual, full resources on this thing. Here's one more that's kind of fun. I'm taking a look at my electric panel. I just opened up the door and look, ha, huh, I can see some of these are glowing. Let's see, I'm sliding my finger down, trying to get used to looking at the image in the upper uh, upper corner and matching it. There it is, it's the oven. Oh, that's right, my wife does have the oven on, but what are those ones below it? Those one, ah, those are, well, it's the interconnect, so it's all the different, the whole house. And there's a big one down at the bottom that one, what is that? That is, well, that's my solar connector. And yeah, it's so warm, you could see the light leaking through. Well, that's okay, because that's generating power, and I can see the temperature on it. It's 103, that's, that's not concerning. But that is indeed good data. All right, well, here's the PC app, and what I really like is you can use it to monitor things. So here it is. I put a square on it. Here, you can do the same. Throw that away. I could say, where's the hot spot on this product? Boom pinpoint precision, and I know how warm it is. Here, I put my hand on that and cover it up. Uh, let's see, right about there. There, it moved it down here. Uh, but yeah, you see, it'll move to where, and you can see the graph is following it along as well. Pretty cool. Now, the only thing I would recommend differently on this product is it is cool to be able for automotive and such. Put this on a tripod like I have it now. I wish it had a tripod mount. 
that'd be easy enough to add. But this is a pretty cool product, really serious. I love the fact that you can highlight regions, different regions, find out what the high and the low of each region is. And we can even go to individual spots and put give us the temperature on all those spots. Really cool piece of software, really cool piece of hardware. Hey, uh, here's how what it's like when you open it up. Let me just show you what's inside. I like the carrying case, it protects it well. And the cable that comes with it is pretty darn useful. It's actually a dual headed cable. It's USB uh, type, what is that, type A to type C. And then you can pull it off and it's type C to type C. Pretty cool, you can put it just about anywhere. Uh, and there is the, the Mac version, of course, that will go iOS, the iOS con lightning connector to the, I guess, a, a USB lightning connector. Yeah, there you go. That is so, indeed cool. That's the TC001 is the PC version and the TC002 is the Mac version. Right now, they're both at the same price because there's, well, there's different discounts on them. Pretty cool. If you are a DIYer, you want to take a look at this site because they do have some great stuff for diagnostic tools, for all sorts of car tools. I love the programming idea. You can program using OBD kit. You can program uh, the key sit system. Oh yeah, and I've got to check out the EV charger. That is indeed cool. Anyway, guys, uh, there you go. Neat product, and it's a serious product. It's at $229 right now because you take the 20 bucks off. And even if I had the Mac version, it takes $70, it's off 229 as well. It is a serious solution. It does have the precision you need and the data logging, and it, it can be quite useful. I wish I had one of this for uh, one of these when I was checking in employees for the um, for COVID, because I could data log them <laughs> and check out their, their temperatures and know if anybody's over. There you go. Uh, pretty cool product, and I can't wait to dig into it more. And what I love about it, real quick, is, and then I'm going to go to download. Here's all the resources for it. I have the Windows version, which you just saw, complete user manual, Android version, as well as the uh, the zero zero two is the one for the, for the Mac. Yeah, you can see the Mac connector up there. There you go, guys. Neat product, uh, and definitely one of the superpowers I would consider <laughs> because being able to see stuff in infrared uh, we, along with the temperature data is quite useful. Well, there we, <laughs> well, hey guys, there you go. Uh, this is the TC001. I can't wait to start including some of this data in my product reviews. And I can't wait to take a look at some of these. Look at this, 3000 cranking amps. This can jumpstart a seven liter diesel. That's impressive. I uh, definitely want to take a look at some of these as well. Anyway, guys, hey, thanks for watching. Give this thumbs up if you would, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you soon.